Good morning, guys. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel. And I forgot, it might not be morning where you're at. I don't know when you're seeing this. So, good day, folks. I hope that everybody's having a great day or had a great day and will have a great day tomorrow as well. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. I appreciate it. I am so grateful for the community that you guys have built. I say it all the time, but I mean it every time I say it. And I hope that it shows in the videos, in the communication, in the comments. Guys, it's, it's a pleasure to be here talking with you guys about things that I guess you guys want to talk about because you've sent me a lot of ideas and such. One thing that you guys tend to feel really strongly about, as well as I do, is Shonda Vander Ark and the way that she behaved with her son, Timothy Ferguson. So guys, you know that Timothy weighed 69 pounds when the police came to investigate what happened that day. We saw Shonda on her front steps when the police came and a terrible acting job when she was telling the story of what she said happened to Timothy. So clearly not what happened to Timothy. But she tried to convince the police officers that Timothy went on a hunger strike, that Timothy was wearing big baggy clothes, and she didn't have a clue about how much he weighed or what he was eating and what he wasn't eating. And that was all untrue because as we know, he wasn't eating anything except soaked up hot sauce on bread. That was it. There was allegations that that hot sauce, his brother Paul, bully that was the enforcer that I'm pretty sure gave his mom some good ideas about what to do with his younger brother who just annoyed him. That was the deal. And because Paul feels this small, and I hope in jail he is squashed like a bug under somebody's shoes, he decided, let me make my life a little bit more entertaining by T-O-R-T-U-R-I-N-G, my little brother who has autism and clearly can't fight back when it comes to me because I'm a six feet tall lurch monster. We've heard the phone calls from Paul and we'll hear more about how Paul is inconvenienced about the temperature in the jail, how Paul doesn't like spicy foods, but yet somebody in that family decided to investigate the hottest of hot sauces, ordered it from Amazon, delivered it to the house and fed it to their little brother. Mm. Whatever happens to Paul Ferguson in jail or in prison, I'm all for it. I'm all for it because that can't be fixed. There are so, When people are broken, not everybody who's broken can be fixed. If you have no remorse and you are sitting there complaining about not having money to spend on yourself in jail for being penalized for unaliving your brother, buddy, you don't know what time it is. The nerve of him to ask his dad, who he said his dad was worthless, controlling. Paul is a fuck. I can't put it any better. You know, I'm 60 years old, so there's a lot of cases that I've heard over the course of my life so far. And there's cases that I've looked into that I've had an interest in and cases that you guys have an interest in. Paul Ferguson is one of the worst one of the very, 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 very worst that I've ever known, ever came across, ever heard about. And he simply doesn't care. When he talked uh, to his stepmom about, I just want this to be over. And she said, "It's I, I hate when you say that, Paul, because it's it's not over. Timothy's gone. I don't think Timothy comes into the mind of his mom, Shonda, or his brother, I'm not sure Timothy comes into the mind of anybody in that family. Listen, we heard the older brother talk on, uh, say what kind of shit mom 
his his mom was, but he never thought to check on his brother. He he said, I thought things would get better. His mother shouldn't have had custody of the kid. And why the dad isn't being penalized, and even the stepmom. If you knew this, then you knew it was dangerous to put Timothy in the hands of the person that the states said she's dangerous. She shouldn't have unsupervised visits, let alone you're going to go ahead. Isn't that breaking the law? If there is an order in place that a parent shouldn't have unsupervised visits, can't the state go back on the dad and say, whoa, what did you do? Like, what did you do? Why isn't that the same as taking a kid into the most dangerous area and leaving them alone? in hopes that they find their way back home in the middle of the night. Why isn't that the same thing? Why isn't that a charge of neglect? Everybody failed this kid, including, including the states, because there was nobody keeping tabs on this kid. Nobody, Uh, no older brothers, no older sister, no younger. So there was nobody keeping tabs on this kid. He went, I mean, I, I can't even imagine what that must have felt like to keep being failed over and over and over and over again, to look into the eyes of the people that are supposed to protect you and fear them. It was a one family income and all of that pressure and all of that, I'm sure weighed on Shonda and you have to release things. You have to talk about things. You have to work through things. The way that Shonda worked through things was taking all that angst out on Timothy, and I'm convinced that Paul gave her that outlet, that Paul probably complained to his mom several times about Timothy, and she just said, you deal with it. I, I, I can't, Paul, you deal with it. I got enough on my plate, Paul, please help me deal with this. You deal with your brother. That's what I think happened. That doesn't make Shonda in the clear. And you know what's worse is when she hears about the loss of her husband, the real tragedy in her voice, the real sorrow in her voice. And then she even says, Gabriel's gone too. The younger son who was, it was her youngest son by Adam and her. But no mention about the 15-year-old kid. No mention about his memory. No mention about the fact that he was on this earth for 15 years, no mention whatsoever about Timothy, except what an inconvenience it is because now I'm in jail. Now I got to do time. I don't have a problem with her spending the rest of her life in jail. I don't have a problem with people taking her food. She's not, this doesn't go over well, even in the women's facilities. We need a lot more mental health in this country. And we need, I think, a stronger judicial system where people aren't getting tablets and people, you know, really can't complain about the food and get commissary so that if they don't like the food, that's okay because they have a choice because I don't think Timothy had a choice. And that's the sad bit of it. Guys, Tell me what you think. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Please communicate in the comments. I do, and I appreciate when you guys do. We've built a very good community here, and I'm very proud of that, guys. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you don't like me, no worries. We're not a cult. We don't make you stay, and you can always unsubscribe. Guys, have a good one. I'll be speaking to you soon. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Don't forget, be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you're going to be tomorrow. And always, always be yourself. Thanks, guys.